Hello guys, it's Teenage Marvel Fan back with another video, and in this video I will be doing another review. This time it is a domed review for the Avengers Endgame Iron Man domes. So, um, in most of my reviews I usually, um, go over the packaging first and do my intro that way, but since I already reviewed the Black Widow Avengers Endgame domes, I decided not to do the packaging because it's exactly the same packaging. So if you want to see what the packaging looks like and you also want to see my Black Widow review, then go check that out on my channel now. So anyway, this is the Iron Man one. So this is, of course, his Mark 85 armor. Sorry about the glare. Um, You have the gray base with the gold Avengers symbol. And then... Um, Iron Man himself, he looks a little small, like, especially compared to the others, um, like, let me go ahead and grab the others, um, as you can see, I've got some other Marvel domes here, um, like Goose, as you can see, right there, Goose is like two times the size of Iron Man, and then same with Ant-Man, and Vision, and Iron Spider, and then, you know, Black Widow fits in with him, because they're both from the same line, so that should be the case. But anyway, let's take a closer look at Iron Man. So, his helmet, um, looks pretty good, you know, it looks like a basic Iron Man helmet, with the gold faceplate, and the red around it, and then even even has some silver on the side there. And then of course you go down into the torso and you've got that nanotech with all the red and the blue arc reactor. And then the gold arms with the red gauntlets there. And he's looking, he, it looks like he's about to shoot a repulsor blast there with that hand. And then this is a fisted hand. Then you've got the gold thighs and the red boots. And then you also have this clear translucent piece there that is elevating him so it looks like he's flying. Now, if you haven't watched any of my other domes reviews and you don't know how these things work, is that they are basically meant for display. Because it's not like they're meant for play because, I mean, they're literally inside of a little dome thing. And there's a, th a way to connect them. So as you can see, it has these little holes here on the sides, and then it also has this Z. Then you'll also see that it has this little peg here. So then if you look at the Black Widow one, it has that same peg. So then you insert that peg there, and then you got them connected. And then, if you want to take it one step further, so you want to take Vision, you can place them on top, and that's because of the Z thing. And you probably can't see that very well. But yeah, you can connect all of these. Um, the, I find the best way to do it is to take the Captain Marvel Goose, put um, Paul uh, Scott Lang right next to him, and take Iron Spider, place him on top. Then, of course, the Vision, because he is also from the Infinity War line. And then we have the Black Widow. And the Iron Man on top of that. Which you probably can't see very... Oh, great. Well, it just broke. So, sometimes they don't stay together very well. I find that this Iron Man is very loose. Um, let's see here. There you can see them all together. So, that's looking pretty good. But overall, this is a nice domes and i was definitely excited to see it um i'm not sure if i'll pick up more of these in the future but stay tuned if you would like to see more of these and let me know down in the comments below but that's it for this video thank you so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video so i can bestow all my marvel knowledge upon you